I thought to myself, hey Elric, let's move to suburbia. It'll be nice and quiet if we move out to the suburbs. Well, let me tell you, the suburbs are not quiet. There's always trash cans, trucks, people mowing their lawn. There's always stuff going on here, screaming kids. Honestly, moving to the suburbs is not quiet whatsoever, I've got to tell you. It's actually even noisier than city in some ways. Trippy, right? Okay, that's not what we're here about today. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit more about the whole mining craze and video cards and all the things that are going on around that. So today's topic though is, is a card that has been used for mining still good for gaming? And people sell these cards online. A lot of people are saying, oh, I'll buy used cards. Many of these cards have the potential or may be cards that have been used to mine. Mm -hmm. That's right. So right now, Honestly, before you go out and buy any video card, you really need to be asking the people you're getting these video cards from as if they use for mining because after doing a bunch of research, if a card is used for mining for basically about a year, now this isn't a complete actual, you know, complete scientific fact. It's kind of like a roundabout number on how things go. The cards are failing out. And if you take this card to any of the manufacturers and you want to get a warranty, they're not going to give it to you. They're going to say that you destroyed the card. So the potential chances of you guys buying a card that somebody used for mining and having that card fail are very, very strong, according to what I'm reading on the internet, you know? I mean, obviously you take that with a little bit of a grain of salt because it is the internet, but still, people aren't gonna take the time to go out and do all this research and put videos together just that are complete hocus pocus because it's not April Fools every day. Now, like always in every video, I wanna hear what you guys think and what your guys' personal experiences are because I myself, I tend to avoid buying anything used if possible. Now I have bought some used stuff before off of eBay. eBay pretty much you have the 45 day period so if anything's wrong you can return things. That's a, that's a good thing on eBay. But buying through Craigslist or anything else like that that you're not going to get any kind of like protection on, I would really avoid like the plague. And I mean this truly on pretty much any used product out there. I'm sure Amazon's probably cool. They have protection. But as far as like, you know, going and like walking a financial tightrope, you know, like the guy walking between the Twin Towers before they got blown up, you know, like that's dangerous stuff as far as I'm concerned. You know, walking across towers, crazy stuff. Going out and buying a video card and really having no idea what conditions that video card has been used on, you know, is a very risky process. Now, obviously, if you have a friend and you're buying from him or someone that you know, chances are much better that you're not going to get completely screwed. But I'm saying right now that any card that a miner has used and is now selling to the gaming community as a gaming card. Sorry, guys, I'm really sick right now, so I'm trying to do the video and not get all clogged up because my throat's almost like a frog. Um, I feel that they're screwing people. I think that since these mining cards are almost used to the point of non-existence, there should be something out there, a law, something that says, you know, these cards should meaning be acknowledged as, hey, this card was used in mining. You know, almost kind of like an industrial type standard because let's think about it. If a person takes the card and they're mining with the card, they're not gaming, isn't that industrial? You know, because you're using something to make financial game through an industry. You're buying a bunch of video cards, killing the gamers on, on prices, and yet you're trying to resell those cards afterwards, maybe for a little cheaper, but if these cards are virtually almost all going to fail very fast, they're completely ripping people off big time. And I understand now a little bit more why people get so angry with the mining thing. You know, at first when I started looking into everything, the whole concept of it, honestly, I know some people agree, but the whole thing of doing mining and stuff like that, I think it's a cool idea. You know, for one thing, the government controls most of our lives. We all think we have freedom, but our freedom is actually very, very, very limited. You're free in your mind, and that's about the only place you can really be free because there's taxes, there's all kinds of uh, catches, red tape, and everything that we do in life. You know what I'm saying? It's just the way things are. So having a way to make some money that's completely off the charts is kind of a cool thing. I mean, everybody, excuse me, if everybody had the means and the money to buy solar panels, I think that would honestly be the absolute best way for people to make extra money because with solar power and solar energy, you can sell all that extra energy and you can sell it right to the power companies. So I honestly think that's an industry that should be like really, really invested in. If I had a lot of extra cash, me personally, that's what I would invest in. I would invest in having giant places full of batteries, a bunch of, bunch of reflectors catching all that free sunlight and making my money. Because now we see the mining craze, it comes, all the cards get bought up 
prices go up for all the gamers so they can't buy them. And then those same cards at the end of the day are gonna be recycled back out in the market as junk. So it's kind of almost like a disposable industry in itself, which is just crazy now. Do you guys completely disagree with me or do you guys agree with me? Because the way things from my perspective is I would never want to buy any card at all if it's been used for mining, period. Not for anything, not for nothing, not even for my office, not for gaming, just for the simple fact that if these cards during mining are put to their ultimate strain, why would I want to buy something that's ultimately strained? It'd be like saying, hey, you know, there's this Toyota from last year, but it's been drove 500,000 miles up and down six mountains and crashed three or four times. But hey, you know, it's a good deal. Buy it. I'll buy that for a dollar. What do you guys think? Just, you know, just my two cents on the entire matter right now. As far as used cards go, excuse me. Oops. Maybe we can just bleep that out. <clears throat> Didn't mean to do that. It's like saying ninja online. <gasps> What did you say, Ninja? Oh my God, no. Anyways, though, that's just my take, folks. If you guys agree, let me know. I'll have a poll sitting back up there. But at this point in time, I don't think that any card, like I said, that has been used for mining should be available to be sold to a gamer without having a big red sign in it that says this thing was used for mining. Because if they don't tell you, you're liable to buy a lemon. Love seeing you guys here. Peace out. Love to see your comments.